meal of the day two slices of gluten-free toast topped with my avocado spread this is smoked sockeye pepper salmon one beautiful over easy egg and an egg white scramble with mushrooms and uh, roasted red pepper and I just put a little bit of this green dragon hot sauce on it from Trader Joe's oh this looks so amazing I'm gonna dig into this What's going on guys? I'm sorry if the background noise is loud. We're watching Workaholics and I am super shiny. But I wanted to show you my little pre-workout meal. I'm doing an F45 class so I gotta eat this really quick because I have to leave soon. But I wanted to show you what I'm doing and then I'm also gonna try to get some clips at F45 if I can. I'm gonna try. So I have 100 grams of kiwi, I have 10 grams of honey, and then I have one um, maple maple cinnamon or something maple rice cake it's a skinny pop rice cake so i'm gonna eat this really quick i love doing fruit and honey pre-workout it gives me the best energy so i'm gonna go i will hopefully see you at f45 Oh my gosh, that was quite the fucking workout. I'm dead. I think my camera's dirty. Oh my gosh, that kicked my ass like it always does. Wednesdays are my favorite. I don't even know. I always say Wednesdays are my favorite and then I go and I'm like, oh, this was my favorite day. Oh my God, you guys, if you have a 45 in your area, you have to check it out. If you're in South Florida, come get a workout in with me. You get two free weeks to try it out, which is awesome. So generous because they know that once you try it, you're gonna get hooked. So I know I, I wore my heart rate monitor. Um, they send you an email at the end of the night um, telling you what your calorie burn was and every single workout in 45 minutes I burn over 400 calories so it's awesome um, so yeah 400 about 450 calories in 44 minutes that's sick that's amazing so I'm gonna go home now and make some steak 
Brussels sprouts and baked potato. So I will catch you at home. Um, probably, I don't know, don't want this video to go too long. Um, so maybe I'll just set the camera up and, and just uh, let it play while I'm cooking. Who knows if the battery will last, but I'll catch you at home for some steak and potatoes. So we got some sirloin steaks here. I seasoned both sides with pink salt and my absolute favorite steak seasoning and burger seasoning, Grill Master by Eat Clean Meal Prep. You can use my code X Teen to save 15%. And I am preheating my stove on level eight. And then my oven is preheating to 350. I am going to simply put some cooking spray on the pan. I'm gonna sear them for two minutes and then I'm gonna flip it and then immediately put it in the oven for about three to five minutes, depending on, you know, if I want it medium or medium rare. Um, I'm probably gonna leave them in, I would say four minutes and then I let it rest for five minutes. So um, I can put all that on the screen, but I've showed you how to cook steak time and time again on Instagram and in my meal prep recipe cards. Oven is pre heated pan you want it nice and hot because you want to sear it you want a crust you'll get a better crust if you add oil to the pan but these steaks are you know have a higher fat content so these are sirloin steaks so i'm not going to add any more oil i'm just going to use some spray so that's that i'm going to make it with some brussels sprouts i'm just going to steam them in the microwave because i'm way too freaking hungry to wait 30 minutes for them to roast in the oven it's not happening and um, dinner will be served. So that's that. Look at this. Now this is a post-workout meal. This is 180-ish, 185 grams of russet potato, two servings of Brussels sprouts, which is 175 grams. And then I have about, I don't know, like six and a half ounces of sirloin steak. I kept it in the oven for five minutes and it is medium rare. That's how we like it. And it was a thick one. So I need to dive in. I'm like dying. I'm so hungry. Oh my God. Hey guys. So I wanted to just really briefly give you a little update on some tests that I got done. So I got my blood work done and I also got my resting metabolic rate tested. Now my blood work, not too sure how accurate this was because there was an issue when they were testing my blood. Um, what it if I don't know what any of this means so if you do then that's awesome if you don't then you're in the same boat I'm in it said um, I took a test for um, my micronutrients to find out what vitamins and minerals my body was deficient in um, like potassium iron zinc all of those things I want to find out what I am deficient in so I can supplement my body correctly with what it needs and it said that there was a low number of lymphocytes received from my blood specimen, so they couldn't um, do the micronutrient test. So I'm not sure why they were able to do one test and not the other. So um, I'm going back this Thursday to get my blood work redone. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be redoing this test. I hope so. I'm gonna ask, so I might have some new information soon regarding all of this stuff I'm gonna talk about, but what I'm just gonna focus on right now is my thyroid. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you did see my Instagram story possibly uh, talking about my, tho my low thyroid, my T3. T3 is your um, thyroid that kind of controls um, your metabolism is what my understanding is. And it came back that it was low functioning, um, pretty damn low. So the normal range is anywhere from 85 to 202, 85 being the low side of normal. And mine was at 58, so pretty low, like not even close to normal. Um, <clears throat> so when I saw this and I was talking to people on Instagram that were doctors or um, were in the field that could help me gain some more clarity because Google was freaking me out. Um, it was looking like this T3 was showing that I had a pretty low functioning metabolism, which is weird to me because I eat a lot of food and I'm losing weight unintentionally. Um, I ate a shit ton of food all throughout my contest prep, throughout my reverse diet. So a low metabolism doesn't make sense. 
Um, but I was concerned with my thyroid because of all of the dieting that I've been doing for my competition. So this test really scared me. Um, it was making me kind of rethink how much I should be eating. It was like, I was thinking like, should I be eating less if my thyroid's not working? If my metabolism is low, am I gaining weight? Like I was just like overthinking like crazy. So I decided, Christina, stop doing this to yourself. Let's get some more answers. So that is when I went to Dexa Fit in Boca Raton. This is the place where I get my meta, um, your resting metabolic rate tested, and like they have a scan to show your whole body composition, how much muscle I have, how much my, what my fat percentage is. I've done all of those tests on my channel before, but I specifically went back <clears throat> for my resting metabolic rate. Now. If you're in the South Florida area, you sh really should come to DexaFit and get one of these done because this right here is gonna tell you how much you can eat to maintain, how much you should eat to lose. It's so, uh, this information is, this is the most accurate way to get your, meta your uh, me metabolism tested. So your resting metabolic rate is what you burn at rest. If I was to sit in this chair and not move for 24 hours, what would I burn? If I was to sit and watch TV all day and not move, what would I burn? No walking, no exercising, no nothing. What this test told me was very positive. My resting metabolic rate is 1550. So I can eat about 1600 calories and that's what I burn doing nothing which is fucking awesome, that's high. There's a little chart right here and it's on, I'm at the fast, you know, I'm not at the fastest, but I'm past normal, I'm, my metabolism shows fast. And I was so relieved, it makes sense. I should have a fast metabolism with how much I eat on a daily basis, how hard I train, how much muscle I have. If you are interested in raising your resting metabolic rate, you have to put on muscle. Muscle is how you get that number high. And for my small little body, I have a lot of muscle. So I should have a fast metabolism. It just makes sense. Um, when I eat more, I actually lose weight. My body just sucks it all up. My metabolism revs up. Um, so this was such a, just a relief after thinking from this blood work that I had a slow metabolism. This just proves, no, you're okay. So what is really cool about this test is it kind of does um, a little example about what about what you burn based on um, your um, your results. Now, this is definitely off because I burn I burn more calories um, during activity and my lifestyle than what it says I do. But um, it's really cool. This says with my exercise and my everyday just walking around and just being cooking and cleaning and taking my walks and doing laundry, what well, all of that stuff plus my exercise. This says to maintain my weight. I should eat 2,060 calories. And this was on you know the low end. This doesn't take in consideration my actual calorie burn during my workouts. Um, so I do wear a iWatch. I have an iWatch and I also have a Fitbit. I've been going back and forth between the two de determining which one I like better. And <clears throat> I kind of, kind of am enjoying the iWatch a little better because the iWatch tells you specifically your calorie burn for your exercise and your lifestyle combined. So that's what I wanna know. Now that I know my resting metabolic rate, I wanna know what do I burn during exercise and during me living my everyday life. All the walks that I take outside, when I walk my dog, when I'm walking up and down the stairs, if I'm cleaning, if I'm whatever. The iWatch gives you that number. So I was able to do a couple calculations and based on the information that I get from wearing my iWatch, and I also have been working out with a heart rate monitor on recently because I wanted to get some concrete, real, like scientific information rather than just a guesstimate because 
the heart rate on your iWatch or on your Fitbit for all of the high intensity training that I do with my classes that I take and the way that I'm working out recently in the gym, um, my heart rate is too fast for the watch to read. So I did a little experiment. I did my watch and I did a workout and then I also had a heart rate monitor on and I burned over 200 calories more based on what my heart rate said than what my iWatch said. So that was an eye opener. And that was for like my high intensity lifts. When I was just lifting and I wasn't going, my heart wasn't going crazy, the calorie burden was about the same on my heart rate monitor and on my eye watch. So um, it was kind of accurate in a sense, but also for high intensity training, my heart was just going too fast for this to read. So that's why I've been wearing a heart rate monitor just to gain more clarity and insight into what am I actually burning every day so that these tests can make a little bit more sense. Um, so if you, I would definitely research in your area resting metabolic rate test centers, a place that can test your resting metabolic rate because you will gain so much information from that. And then if you want to go even further, I would check out an iWatch or a Fitbit or an activity tracker to see what you burn on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, just to get an idea. So based on all this information that I've gathered, all of the calculations that I've done, if I work out once a day, I have to eat about 2,100 calories to maintain my weight. If I work out twice a day, which I do do, I lift and I do F45 classes because I just love F45, I have to eat about 2,500 calories to just maintain my weight. And I'm gonna be honest, I have been under eating, not on purpose, I just haven't been shoveling food in. I just eat when I'm hungry. I kind of have been having breakfast a couple hours after I wake up because I sit at my computer and work in the morning and I'm not moving, so I don't need a ton of food. So just my overall caloric intake has been lower ever since I've been trying to just intuitively eat. And so that is why I'm just gonna start playing around with cheat days or more refeeds with like sushi or going out to eat more, getting a burger and fries every once in a while, maybe having a donut or two once a week because I need to get my calories up because on the days that I under eat on accident, I feel really terrible. I have to like rummage through my cabinets and be like, okay, I need to eat. Like my body is begging for fuel and then I'm dropping weight on the scale. I don't want to drop any more weight. I really don't want to get any skinnier. Um, so I am realizing that refeeds and meal out, cheat meals, that kind of thing, those are something that I will be playing around with. I just did a little mini cheat day, ultimate foodie day, whatever you want to call it, yesterday. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm playing around with the idea. Stay tuned for what I will be doing um, with my diet because I do need to eat more and I just, I want it to be enjoyable. I don't want to stuff my face all day long. I know, I can't believe I'm saying that, but that feeling of just like being bloated and full all the time, eating 2,500 calories a day, I mean, that's how I was feeling. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking of, of implementing some cheat days or epic cheat meals or, and things like that into my diet so I can, um, sustain my muscle and still grow because if I want to grow and put muscle on my butt and my legs, I need to eat more than I burn. So that's a lot of food. That's, you know, upwards of 3000 calories. So if I have a couple days, uh, here and there or once a week where I have like an ultimate cheat day, then I will be able to still make progress and not continuously drop weight. But also I want to keep speeding up my metabolism. I mean, who doesn't want that? So I just want to give you a little insight on all of the different tests that I got done. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and I will give you more insight on maybe these like ultimate cheat days that I'll be doing. So stay tuned guys. Bye.